Um, and then there's options if you want to limit the minimum and the maximum. Now, I want to limit the minimum to uh, zero, but I want to, I don't want to limit the max. I want to make this clock go as fast as you could possibly want it to. And then you can set a default value. So the default value will be one. And we hit OK. So now in our clock object, you have a user data tab with our data set up. And you can see we have a slider. It, it will go down to zero and no further. It starts at one and it goes up and you can just scrub it up like this. You can hold shift and go quicker or you can actually come in and type in a value. And now you can, uh, you can use this to start to control some of the espresso. So if we leave this at one for now, um, we'll double click the espresso tag to bring this back up. So now we, uh, we need a way to get access to this user data. So the way you do that is we click and drag the entire clock null into the Expresso window. And uh, that user data we're going to use to basically multiply with the time. Um, so if we multiply one times time, then our second hand will run in real time. Um, if we make it larger, it will go faster. 